Welcome back to my channel. Today I visited an art exhibition inside of an old palace. I was looking on the internet where to go and I saw this art exhibition so I decided to have a look. It is called Illustrating Life. It's taking place inside of the Gong Wang Fu, an old palace where a very famous eunuch used to live. His name is He Shen and he was very important, very, very rich and a lot of people admired his wealth. That's why his old palace became a point of interest. A lot of people went and went and it's just so difficult to get in there. I didn't realize that. I thought it's just so near, it's half hour away, I'm just gonna go there. And I didn't expect to, you know, go through the whole tourism thing that was totally unexpected. Uh, the exhibition is free, but it's uh, 40 uh, Chinese yuan to go inside. So I had to go through a queue to get a ticket, another queue to check myself in through the security check. And luckily I made it just in time, uh, half hour before the admission deadline. This art exhibition is located very deep inside of this palace. So I was in a kind of a rush. I didn't have much time to admire other exhibitions inside uh, simultaneously taking place. And I just had a quick look and there are some uh, exhibitions uh, on the cave of the stone. There are some others in this Buddhism culture, some of contemporary history of China or some personal life of He Shen. This unique, I don't know if you know about the unique, uh, is a guy who must be castrated to be working with the king's family, the royal family in order to preserve the purity of the bloodline of the king and if you're interested check out but uh, you know it's a bit far away from today's topic which is illustrating life so finally I made it to this courtyard and there are three rooms each room is having a part of the exhibition so I visited the first room and I had a talk with the guy who is all watching the exhibition and I realized he had no idea he didn't know what it's all about and he didn't even know what is the history of this place? And he said, oh, I heard this is the old palace of He Shen and Unique. And I was like, oh, really? Where did you hear that? He was like, today somebody told me, a tourist told me. <laughs> and I was laughing, but I didn't want to be rude. And I think it's kind of ridiculous. You're working here, right? At least they should brief you before coming. And then I visited the main hall where there was the curatorial statement. So I was able to see what is it all about. And I was very touched by the curatorial statement. Everyone is an artist and everyone could be an artist. Illustrators are artists too. I mean, they're not just designers and they're not just decorators. And I really agree. I believed that illustrators, they are and they could be as great as any other fine art professional and not because their art is printed on books or uh, any other places like publications that they are less of value. I think it's the same. The value is about the message you carry in your art. It's about what you do, not uh, where your art is published. I saw the artworks of artists from different countries, US, UK, China, and Europe as well. There are many Spanish, Portuguese, and also France, Germany, and Holland, many other European countries. I'm happy to see the art here as well because, I mean, usually when I see art exhibition is American artists and UK artists. It's very rare to see Holland artists and I'm happy to see that those artworks are there and they are you know, being shown in a very key location. Uh, having this exposure is very important, the internationality, the cultural exchange. And just when I was admiring those works and a guy rushed in asking the worker next to him saying, what is this art exhibition? And the guy said, oh, I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. And he asked, so what is illustration? And I thought it was a very profound question. So I went talking with him and explaining to him. I said, well, uh, it's, you know, illustration, like for the books. And he was like, but those artworks are not on the books. Why they are illustration and they're not on the books? And I was like, wait, he didn't know. I thought he was going to have an intellectual you know, debate with me, but no, he didn't know. So I was like, well, before you have this artwork on the books, obviously you need to paint it somewhere, right? You need to draw on a piece of paper before having it scanned and published. Although they are not on the books, but they are still artworks. Look, they're on the walls and they are so beautiful. And he was like, okay, but um, they are like art. 
And I was like, wow, he didn't know anything, but he asked all the right questions. I was like, yes, they are art. They're as valuable as art. And, and I just went on um, briefing him about illustration. It's coming from uh, illustrating like illumination. That is the intellectual stimulation. That is like, it's a very profound thing and blah, blah, blah. As I was talking to him, I saw many kids. They were watching the artworks and different things, and they were really interested, and they were like smiling, they were jumping, and they were even so excited that their parents had to tell them to shh, be quiet. And they were so excited. Uh, after seeing the exhibitions, they were like, Mommy, Mommy, can I see it again? <laughs> so I could see that those exhibitions and those artworks really talked to the kids who were more used to seeing the artwork and this kind of artworks, especially because they read the children's books. And those people that who are older, like older than me, we didn't have the opportunity to see those art. And it's something very foreign and it's very new. I think it's a great idea to put together this exhibition of many different artists and from different countries. And it's a great opportunity to bring this kind of art to the public. But I also see some problems. This exhibition is located deep inside of this palace, which, you know, is a paid exhibition. This exhibition itself is for free, but to get in there, you need to pay, you need to queue up, you need to go through the traffic, you need to have the time. It's not that simple to admire those artworks. So I would really wish if this art exhibition could be taking place in a shopping mall, perhaps, in an education center, or in an art school, and perhaps in... I don't know, a subway station somewhere where people could just go and appreciate without all those restrictions. Although perhaps the condition of this exhibition is they have a free location in this palace and it's a very, very beautiful place and it's a good place to show, yes. But you're not matching the public, which is everyone, especially you know, young adults and children, with the location, which is an old Unique's palace. Guess why? Unique's palace. Who wants to see Unique's palace? Not children, right? <laughs> mommy, mommy, I want to see a Unique's palace. Oh my God. <laughs> I would be very shocked if um, a child would tell me this. And it's not matching. And people who are interested to go to this uh, palace, usually they are men because they admire the power this man used to hold. And you're not matching the public with the works. And I think it's a pity and it's the only complaint I have. Oh, there's a second thing that if they would um, be able to bring some more educated staff or just brief the staff before the exhibition, it would be better. I mean, the staff knew absolutely nothing. And really, you are here and you don't know where you are. Like, did you know that I'm in Old Unique's Palace? Someone told me this morning. Yes! Oh my god, it's something really strange and perhaps this could only happen in China because the, um, the employees in such locations are outsourced and usually they are migrant workers and they are really having very, very little knowledge. So this is my second advice. I'm so glad I visited this exhibition. I enjoyed it and also it gave me the opportunity to visit all other surrounding areas like the Ho Hai Lake area. I had been there 10 years ago and it's like a after such a long time, I'm happy to rediscover my city again. If you are interested in discussing about the illustration, if illustration is art, you know, what is art anyway, how to make a living as an illustrator, let me know. Leave me a comment below. Don't forget to hit the subscription button and see you in the next video.